Hold on, let me turn off the music. What am I doing? Hey you guys, what's up? It is your girl Yamila, aka Yams, aka Yams is funny, get it where you at though. So if you guys don't know who I am, I go by Yamila and what's up? Welcome to my channel! I'm gonna do a story time on a time I got in a physical fight with another stripper at the strip club. Before I get started in this story, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment down below if you have other story times you want me to talk about or other topics you want me to do or any type of video suggestions i'm running out of ideas so y'all please comment down below and let me know make sure to like this video because y'all is gonna be real good we're just gonna get straight into the video so for the people who don't know me i work inside a strip club okay i'm a dancer at a strip club i've been dancing for a few years now and there's been drama okay Strip club drama is a real thing. Drama with customers, drama with other girls, all types of drama happen all the time, okay? To me, the strip club is kind of like bad girls club. That's kind of how I see it. This happened a few years ago. I actually got in a few drama with some stripper bitches. Can't trust these hoes. Rule number one, don't trust these hoes, period. Rule number two, don't let these bitches in your business. Rule number three, don't have these bitches as your friends. This is why I don't like making stripper friends because you hoes is scandalous. So this story isn't currently at the strip club that I work at right now, but I used to work at this strip club and I had zero friends at the strip club. For me, I was only there to get my money and go. I wasn't here to make friends. Um, it wasn't because I didn't like the girls. I thought all the girls was cool, but it was just me trying to get my money and go because to me, stripper life isn't just like an entire lifestyle. I have other goals, I have other things I wanna accomplish. I have a life outside of the stripper world. So I just give her money and go. I didn't really communicate with all the girls. When I worked at this certain strip club, um, the managers was like really cool with just like everyone. All the managers and the girls, they were like super tight with each other. Like I'm talking about they'll smoke weed together, like crack jokes together, you got each other's phone numbers, texting, hey, what are you doing? Can you get me some food? You know, stuff like that. Everyone was just very cool with each other and I kind of felt like the outsider because I didn't really like to have long conversations with anyone. Maybe because I'm a weirdo, maybe it's because I'm introverted, maybe because I'm just here to make my money, maybe because I don't like y'all, but I just like to stay by myself so let me just tell you what that happened so basically i got into a fight with this girl at my club so i always make my money at this club like i would work double shifts from open to close open to close so this incident started when it was about closing time and there was about three girls maybe four girls at the moment that was left still giving dances after 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 hours and i was one of them doing my thing getting my money getting my lap dances after lap dance you know how i do come on years just trying to get it where you at though so i was giving my dances and then i was ready to leave i checked out i'm going in the locker room i'm getting my stuff and i'm leaving and as i'm doing that as i'm getting my stuff there was also one or two other girls in the locker room with me i was not the only one left okay and there was me leaving the dancing room, but while I was leaving, there was also another girl still giving lap dances. So it was me and another girl giving lap dances. I'm done giving a lap dance. I go back in the locker room. I'm getting my stuff. There's still one or two girls in back there. I get my stuff and I leave. The night's over. The night's done. I don't remember what specific day it was. I think it was maybe a Thursday because the weekend that came, I did not work that weekend because i didn't need to i wanted to go out with my friends i wanted to have a good time i work a lot but i don't need to work every single day so that's what happened so let me introduce you guys to my snapchat this ain't no shout out i had a snapchat my old snapchat i have a different snapchat now but my old snapchat i got a lot of motherfuckers on there random people watch my story all the time my story is public so people watch my story all the time. But I had recently bought this pair of slippers, gray fur slippers from Victoria's Secret. And apparently the girl that was still dancing assumed that I, okay, so this is what happened. This girl at my club thought I stole her slippers when I was leaving that night. And she seen that I was wearing the same slippers on my Snapchat the next day on top of not going to work and then she approached me what was it i think it was sunday or monday she approached me and basically she got all up all up in my face trying to tell me da -da 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 -da, that i did all of this 
And then that's when we fought. So I don't know how confusing that is, but that's basically what happened. Who do I look like stealing a bitch's pair of shoes, okay? For one, I don't need to steal no bitch's pair of shoes. Two, it's at Victoria's Secret. Everybody can have the same pair of shoes. Three, I just bought it, sis. I still got the receipt for my pairs of shoes. Not even shoes, slippers, okay? I still got the receipt to my pair of slippers that I purchased. So I just felt like it was so outrageous for this girl to approach me, assume that I stole her slippers, then fight me. Then it gets even better. She fought me. Then she took my red iPhone, the beautiful red iPhone that I had. She took it, and then she left. I worked till close Thursday, I left. I made good money on Thursday, okay? So I was like, I don't really need to work the weekends. I went out with my homegirls, okay? Monday came, I come back to day shift. I go in the locker room and the girl sees me and she goes on her little phone and she's like, oh, she's here, blah, 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 blah. So basically what she did was she called the girl that's lost her slipper and she told her to pull up because she's here. I don't even know anything that's going on. I didn't even realize this girl lost her slippers. I didn't realize I was being accused of anything. I didn't realize any type of drama was even happening right now. To me, this was all a surprise because I wasn't even friends with anybody in the club like that for them to even have my number, for them to even have me on social media. Like no one even hit me up about it. No one asked me anything. No one approached me anything. But apparently, this girl that lost her slipper her boyfriend follows me on my snapchat and see me wearing my slides and he tells her hey aren't these your slides and then basically she thought she put the puzzles together and she was like wait a fucking minute I feel where she's coming from though because it's like if someone has my shoes on bitch I'm gonna be pissed too. She was super mad at the fact that she left that night basically with no slides like nothing on her fucking feet. She had to walk out barefoot. She had to go to her car barefoot like I understand where she's coming from but sis you got the wrong bitch. Like that was not me. Let me go into detail about what happened on Monday when she actually approached me. I'm fully dressed now. I got in Monday, I'm fully dressed. I have my work outfit on. I have my heels on. I'm sitting on the floor area waiting waiting for a customer to, to come in. And I'm basically in like, there's like a chair, but I'm like huddled in a corner. Next thing you know, this girl, she's angry, like full force. She comes straight into my face. And she's like, right, I'm sitting down, like how I'm sitting down here. And she's all the way up here and she's looking down at me. She's yelling at me right in my face. She said, you have one fucking second to tell me what the fuck happened to my shit. Like what the fuck happened to my shit? I feel like I'm very preserved, I'm to myself. I'm not loud, like I'm always to myself. And so I was really looking at her like, girl. I was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like in this tone, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? But in her tone, she was really loud, but I can't really be loud now because it's kind of dark and my neighbors are gonna hear me. But she turned up to level like 500 and she was like, you have one second, basically all of in my face. Da -da -da. And I'm like, bro, like, I'm just thinking like, bro, I got my heels on. Like, this is a real bad situation. Like, she really caught me lacking. The manager was telling me that this girl might come in super angry. So, if anything, you know, I'm here for you. But this man is such a setup. I swear he did this on purpose because the manager at the time, like I said, he's hella cool with all the girls. And so he probably knew what this was happening. Probably was going to let it slide. Probably was going to let this bitch beat my ass. And this whole time, it's so funny because when she approached me and all this happened, basically, she said that, and then two seconds later, we started fighting. Well, no, she fought me. I'm gonna be honest, she fought me. I'm in a bad situation. I'm over here sitting down. This girl is all up in my face, all the way right here, literally yelling, and I'm like, I am hella lost. I'm like, what the hell? Like, what? She gets in my face, and the next thing you know, the bitch is beating on me, and I'm really just like, what the fuck? It happened so fast though. It was literally for like three seconds before they pulled us off of each other. But she got a few hits in. She did get a few hits in. Honestly, I was covering my face because I'm not gonna have this bitch ruin this pretty ass face. Like, bitch, I'm still gonna go to work every day. I'm still gonna make my money, bitch. You do not intimidate me, bitch. You do not scare me. And second, last of all, bitch, I did not steal your stupid ass slides. Like, bitch, it's at the mall right now. Everyone can have the same pair of slides.
I felt like I could have had a shot if she gave me a chance to get up, but the bitch was literally all up in my face. I'm sitting down on top of me wearing heels. But it wasn't even hella bad though. Oh my God, and you guys wanna know what's super funny too? I was wearing like a ponytail. Like, Okay, so I have short hair, but you guys know the ponytail that's like extended out. I was wearing a ponytail and this bitch had the nerve to try to literally yank my ponytail off. She could have yanked it off because I secured that shit. I secured my ponytail. I remember her trying to yank it off so hard and she could have, she could not yank it off. We fought for about, or she fought me for about two minutes. I'm not gonna cap, I was on the floor, bitch. I was covering myself because I'm not gonna make this bitch slow down my money. Like, you clearly angry, but for some reason, even the entire time, I was so calm. Like, honestly, I'm so nice. I don't know what it was, but bitch, I didn't take her shit. And bitch, you're not gonna ruin my day. You're not gonna ruin my mood. It was a day shift. You know what the fuck I did after? Bitch, I had like five broken nails and I still finished my shift. I still did a night shift. Bitch, I finished a whole double shift and I still made my money because the bitch is not gonna stop me from anything. You could be mad at me. The bitch just beat my ass. But I got no cuts on me, no nothing. Like the bitch got a few hits in, tried to get my ponytail off, failed, broke some of my nails, and I still hustled and I still got my money, no cap. And that's straight up, like, did I get my ass beat? Bitch, maybe I did. But did she make me lose my money? No. Am I the bitter bitch? No. Am I still gonna get my money? Yes, the fuck I am. Am I hating on her? I still don't hate her. But let me tell you what's even more funny, though. Because when I was fighting, okay, or when she was fighting me, I had a red iPhone. And this funny girl had the nerve to get my phone. And I tried to tell the manager. I was like, before she was trying to leave, I said, tell her to give me my phone back. She has my phone. My phone's missing. She was like, I don't have your fucking shit, bitch. I'm not a stealer. And I was like, oh, you're not a stealer. You're not a stealer. But a few days later, she approached me at the club, tried to talk to me woman to woman and tried to apologize to me and tell me if I didn't steal her slides that she was sorry and that she does have my iPhone. If I want it back, then I just have to pay her a small fee to get my phone back. But the same day that she took my phone, I already bought myself full price of brand new iPhone. So, sis, you clearly need money. Keep the phone, try and sell it. Even though I don't know how because you need my fingerprints or my password to unlock it. You guys just see all of this? Like, first I'm the stealer. But apparently, you said you weren't a stealer, but you did steal my iPhone. Are they gonna apologize to me and say I could have my phone back, but I have to pay a small fee? This was just like crazy to me. And she might watch this video, but I'm not even trying to like bash her but i just think the whole situation was just super fucking funny and when she tried to make truce with me honestly i thought the whole shit was just so funny and i was just like i mean we good i'm not beefing with you but don't think like i i kind of felt like she kind of thought we were gonna be like hella tight like maybe sitting with her or talking with her with a group of girls but baby girl the way that you approach me i can't respect people like that i'll have respect for you but we can't be more than just that level of respect i have nothing against her i don't have no hate towards her i don't have no beef towards her if i see her i won't have a problem with her but just what she did to me i felt like was super foul after that fight happened i kind of felt like majority of the girls started talking down on me calling me a thief calling me a fucking liar calling me a bum ass bitch i had bitches literally bullying me in there They're over here like laughing at me and telling me i'm a bitch that barely makes any money oh she's the one that sells dancing for hella cheap because I, apparently i get all the dances and because i get all the dances apparently i sell them for hella cheap like y'all bitches in a strip club be hating but if you guys want to hear the story about the other girl that i was just talking about that's bullying me bitch i have been bullying inside a strip club too but yeah this is the story of me getting my ass beat i didn't have time to get up i didn't have time to take my heels off like she caught me lacking, straight up, she caught me lacking. That was really the story. You guys tell me um your input, what you think. Again, if you guys have any other video suggestions, comment down below, let me know because I don't know what to talk about these days. Yeah, till this day, I've never got my phone back. So I got a new phone the day after I got beat up. 
on top of changing my number so it's funny because people say they keep calling that phone number that they have and they said a girl picked up before and i don't know if it was her or if it was just a, somebody else but i just think that was so funny because people said they contacted that number and like they picked up <laughs> I don't know old girl still got my phone. I don't know if she finally sold that. I don't know what she did. I don't really care to be honest. Like, I'm good over here. I'm still cute over here. Still making money. Letting nobody affect me. Like, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys like the story. And um, until next time, it is Yancey's Funny Kid Where you at though? Where you at though? Where y'all hot though? Where y'all know? Bye. <laughs>